Let's bring in the other side. Mick West, science writer, author of the book, Escaping the Rabbit Hole. It's good to see you, Mick. Uh, so good to see you again, Chris. I, we've heard what these guys have to say. So what do you need to advance? We need something new. We need some new evidence. And this witness list that we just got today is very, very disappointing. We've got David Grush, who we've already heard from via his interview. And we have two pilots, uh, only one of whom has actually seen a UFO with his, his naked eyes. The other one has only seen it on, on sensors. Uh, and they have been telling the exact same story for a very, very long time. So we're not going to hear anything new from those people. We need to get some actionable evidence. We need to get uh, some. We need someone to start naming names. We need to have someone pointing out where things actually are. We need someone actually directing Congress to what should they do to actually validate their stories. What do you make of a plan like a Schumer's? Uh, bill that, hey, any private industries that uh, collect any of these things or anybody else, you've got to tell us about them in a, in a Senate uh, committee. Uh, you know, we're going right. to set up a special committee for that. Is that the answer? I think it's probably good for Congress to know what private industry is doing. If something like that was actually happening, there isn't really any very good evidence that that type of thing is happening. We're basing it all basically on these stories from people like David Grush uh, and other people. These are the same stories that have been knocking around the UFO uh, community think that Chuck and the Schumer UFO culture for a long is time. is designing legislation based off an interview he saw on News Nation that he didn't make any phone calls to see if there is anything legitimate to these uh, you know, categories of concern? No, I think it's something that's been going on for quite a while. In fact, you mentioned that he, he was basically carrying on the legacy of Harry Reid. And Harry Reid is the one who really got this whole ball rolling when he, he started the uh, the ORSAP and the ATIP programs uh, back in the 90s based on like uh, information that was gleaned from this uh, place called Skinwalker Ranch, uh, which is a very interesting story. But uh, it, it isn't actually new uh, what, what's happening here. It's just something that's kind of coming to a head. And what do you think the best case scenario is? Uh, the best case scenario is that we figure out what's going on. Why does David Grush believe what he believes? And it seems like he genuinely believes this, but it, he, I think he's only believing it because other people have told him things and he's trusting these other people. We need to get to those other people. Who are the people who are telling him things? What did they tell him? Where are the alien bodies? Where are the alien craft? We heard from people that there's one alien craft that's so big, they had to build a building over it. And the journalist who interviewed David Grush, Ross Golthart, claims he knows exactly where it is. So why don't you get dirt? hit in front of Congress and ask him where this giant alien craft is or ask Dave Grush where it is. It is always, uh, you know, tricky for me when somebody says they know something, but they won't tell you. Uh, I yeah. like employing your skepticism very often. You, you help debunk things. And that's as important as anything else uh, in terms of obtaining an aspect of the truth. But do you have any doubt that there are things that are known about uh, by the U.S. government about things that have flown around within American airspace that they're not telling Americans. Yeah, quite likely, yes. Uh, we know that, for example, China uh, and Russia try to test our airspace all the time, and we don't want to let them know what we know about what's going on. There may be some advanced technology Chinese drones that are in the airspace, but there isn't really even any very good evidence that there's anything particularly amazing going on. You look at all these videos that get released, they end up not showing mm. anything. A lot of the videos Jeremy Corbell released, like this 29 Palms uh, flying triangle that lots and lots of Marines saw, turned out to just be some flares. The green, uh, the green triangle video you're showing on screen right now, that turned out to be mostly stars and one uh, aircraft that was either a drone or a plane. Nothing at all particularly interesting. So we really haven't even got a baseline of good evidence that there's something amazing going on. But I would be good with that. I would be good with them coming on and saying what you just said. Obviously not the same thing. We already know it. But, you know, like, all right, give me another one. And they give it. Well, what about this? All right, here's what we know about that. It's not what you think it is. And here's why. Oh, yeah. And what about this story about the building around the plane? Because it was so big. Yeah, I, that's never happened. You know. I think even that yeah. would be helpful because when you that don't tell people, you weaponize the unknown, and that's what we keep seeing. So hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.